हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन आर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ रैशनल नंबर्स एंड इवन वी डिड सॉल्व सम क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ रैशनल नंबर्स अगेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम क्वेश्चन द सम ऑफ टू रैशनल नंबर्स is minus 5 if one of them is 2 by 3 find the other solution what is given to us minus 5 is the sum of two rational numbers and the value of one rational number is known to us and we have to find the other rational numbers i simply ask a question to you the sum of two number is 10 if one of the number is 4 what will be the second number is 6 what we are doing we are subtracting the value of one number from the sum same we have to do it here which is given to us sum of rational two rational numbers minus 5 One rational number, two by three. To find the second rational number, what we will do? We'll subtract two by three from minus five. Again, the subtraction is possible by taking LCM. The LCM of one and three is three. 3 divided by 1 3 multiplied by minus 5 minus 15 3 divided by 3 1 multiplied by 2 here it minus 2 now both the numbers are negative add their value and put negative sign so we have we have found out the second rational number is minus 17 by 3 next question is what number should be added to minus 3 by 7 to get 1 solution to this we don't know that number let the number be x we can do this question by two ways first What number should be added to four to get seven? What number should be added to four to get seven? I know the result is three. What we did? We subtract four from seven. So you can find out directly the value of x from here. One minus minus three by seven. If we have nothing in the denominator, we can have one again by taking LCM. Seven minus minus three. If two negative signs, seven plus three by seven. That is ten by seven. This is the one method. The second method again. The let the number be x. Second method. Eighty Q according to question. What number should be added? Minus three by seven. May what number should be added? X to get result one. To find the value of x, this minus three by seven will be shifted towards RHS, and the sign will get change. Again, take LCM seven. Seven plus three. X is ten by seven. The value is same. So you can do this question by these two alternate ways. Now this is the next question. What number should be subtracted from minus one to get five by three? Solution. We will do by both methods. Let the number be. What 
number should be subtracted from 7 to get 4. Now 7 to get 4. The answer is 3. What we did? We subtract 4 from 7. Minus 1, minus 5 by 3. Again, if we are nothing having denominator, we can have 1 by taking LCM. Minus 3, minus 5. Both number are negative. So, minus 8 by 3. We have find out the value of x is minus 8 by 3. Second method. Let the number be x 80 cube. What number should be subtracted from minus 1? I said that number be x to get result 5 by 3. I need to find the value of x. Either you can shift minus 1 to over here. Even you can shift x to that also to RHS to get it positive. And if x is get, going to the RHS, this 5 by 3 will move towards LHS and the sign will get change. Again the LCM of 1 and 3, minus 3, minus 5. Both are negative, add their value and the value of x is minus 8 by 3. In this way, we observe that the value of x will be same in both the cases. So, home assignment for today is do question number 3 to 5, worksheet 2, chapter 2, 3 to 5.